All right, guys, welcome back to another week of Cincy Game Hunting, and we are actually over at the St. Vincent de Paul down the street from my house. Um, my guy Dylan actually uh, messaged me again and said they got some new games in over here. Uh, unfortunately, it was like 9 o'clock in the morning, and I have my son's virtual schooling until about 1, 1 30. So I didn't think I was going to be able to make it over here. There was one game in particular that I really wanted to grab. So I was like, that's a bummer. And he's like, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll see what we can do. I'm like, I don't know what that means. But uh, apparently he messaged me later on and says, look in this section. You might find it. It might be sitting there still. I'm like, okay. So we're going to sneak in there real quick and see what we find. All right, it worked out. Um, ended up picking up three games over on the, the DVD wall. And as you guys saw, the one game that I wanted was still there. It was in a place that nobody's probably gonna find it. So uh, it was pretty awesome, Dylan. Appreciate you, man. And uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, I've been looking for that game for a little while now. The game in question is Bloodstone 007. Uh, this is, I love James Bond games. I, I'm. I've been looking for this game for a while. I actually found it at a Goodwill not too long ago, and uh, the disc was trashed, and I found it again at the flea market, and the disc was not there. So, yeah, picked this up for two bucks. Every game at St. Vincent de Paul is two dollars, and uh, disc is in great shape. It has no manual, but I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna I'm wanna play it, so. Uh, it's a great game, hopefully. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to play it yet. But I love all the James Bond games, so I'm sure I'm going to love it. So James Bond, uh, I think the Bloodstone 007, which is like a $20 game. So picking that up for 2 bucks, awesome deal. I appreciate you doing for that, man. Also, we picked up WWE 2015, or WWE 2K15, if you will. Um, picked this up for 2 bucks as well. Um, wrestling games always hold their value. I'm going to play it for a little bit and probably trade it in my game store, get some good trade credit for it. But, uh, yeah, if you ever see wrestling games out there, Grab them if you can, because I said most of them usually are still going between ten and twenty dollars, no matter what. So uh, if you can find it for cheap, like a buck or two, definitely worth your while. We also picked up a game for me and Andrew to play, Lego Indiana Jones. Uh, love the Lego games. I always pick them up. If I don't got one, and this is uh, definitely one that I didn't have in the collection. So picking that up for two bucks is definitely a no-brainer as well. So uh, yeah, a lot of 360 games on the wall today. Last but not least. NCAA Football 12, which, you know, 14 and 13 carry a lot of value. 12 is still like a $15 game, I think. And uh, GameStop, I think, gives like almost $7 for it. So if I find like a day where they have another, you know, trade-in promotion, I might trade that in that day. But uh, I've got 14, so I'm going to grab this for $2 to maybe get like, you know, 6 to $10 in trade credit, depending on when I trade it. So yeah, picking uh, NCAA 12 for 2 bucks as well. So... Not a bad way to start the week. Uh, super stoked about picking up Bloodstone and uh, a couple games that I can play with Andrew. And yeah, Let's see what we get the rest of the week.
right, guys, we stepped into a GameStop real quick. As you saw, uh, the GameStop is actually over by the University of Cincinnati, uh, by the campus, and uh, it's kind of a smaller GameStop, so they don't have a lot of the older games like Wii and Wii U. Uh, you saw they did have some 3DS and DS games in the wall, but nothing really to write home about. So I looked around, and I saw on the PS4 shelf, I was kind of scouring to see if I could catch a glimpse at any good deals, and we found this on the wall. The Alliance Alive HD Remaster. Now, apparently this was a 3DS game back in the day, um, and they re-released it for Switch and uh, PS4 shortly after, like a year or so after. And uh, yeah, nice RPG game to pick up for cheap. It was listed as $9 and change, I guess, uh, on clearance. So yeah, I'm gonna pick that up. Um, after my $5 reward, this is only like a $4.97 game. And it goes, according to price charting, for like 25 bucks or so. So definitely a great deal there. Um, and it was technically GameStop new. You know how they do their thing where they, they tape the edge? Like I hear they got a little piece of tape that they put on the edge of the thing. But they put all the inserts back into it. So you got the little cardboard cutouts and everything of it. And the game has never been touched before. So I'll consider it new for our purposes but uh like i said it's gamestop new it wasn't shrink wrapped or anything so or wasn't uh sealed if you will but yeah picking this up for five bucks that is a no-brainer um and it's an rpg that i'd never heard of before and I, anytime i see an obscure game on the wall i'm always gonna look at it and just pulled this one out and i was like well seriously ten dollars please believe we're gonna pick that up All right, we snuck into my local St. Vincent again, and uh, honestly, I haven't had a chance to do much hunting this week, mainly because I usually go out during my lunch break and work, and I really haven't had time for a lunch break this week. It's been really busy. Um, so yeah, on the way to work today, I figured I'd stop by the one down the street from my house and uh, found a couple more games. First of all, two games in the PS3. Need for Speed, Most Wanted. Um, I believe I have this on the Wii U, but uh, I'm curious to see how much different it will be. Considering the Wii U is kind of a um, lower powered console, I want to see how much the difference is between that and this. So, picked it up for two bucks. All the games in my local St. Vincent are always two dollars a piece, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, we picked up Black Ops 2 as well. I actually have this one, but this is one of those ones that uh, GameStop pays for, and I think it's around eight dollars. They'll give you back in trade credit for it, so I picked up this for two dollars. Uh, like I said, I have this one already, but like I said, it trades really well so i grab it every time i see it black ops 2 i wish it was a 360 version because that one trades in for like 13 or 14 bucks but um take what we can get last but not least got an xbox one game in there rise son of rome uh, i believe this is a launch title for the xbox one um it uh i i know it's a console exclusive but uh yeah it's it looks pretty awesome um I don't know much about it. I haven't never played it before, so uh, it looks like a, a Roman fighting game, like a like a what's the word for it? A hack and slash, if you will. So uh, pick that up for two bucks as well. Don't know much about it. Like I said, we're gonna give it a try. I might show some video of it just to kind of give you guys an idea what it's all about. But uh, two bucks for each of these. I mean, six dollars for them all, and uh, I always like that.
All right, quick trip into Goodwill, and uh, they actually had a PS3 controller on the wall, which I was kind of excited to grab because it's only three bucks. Well, I started playing with the joysticks. <laughs> you, you'd move the, the right joystick over, and it would just stay over. It was just stuck in the right position. So I don't think that's going to work too well. <laughs> we ended up passing on that. I did end up grabbing one game off the game wall. They didn't have a lot over there today. It's kind of the smallest amount I've seen there in a while. But uh, as you all remember, a couple weeks back, we ended up grabbing um, a Guitar Hero guitar for the Wii. So I figured, why not? Let's pick up another Guitar Hero game. Uh, guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock, which is actually a fairly valuable game, I guess. It's like not really expensive. It's just like a $15 game, but paid five bucks for it. Um, I see it fairly often. And uh, I want to say I bought it back in the past. And I ended up not getting a guitar when I bought it. And I ended up trading it. So... This time we're gonna play it. Uh, I got a, got a Wii guitar now, so we're gonna start collecting a couple of these Guitar Hero games for me and Andrew to rock out on. And uh, yeah, like I said, five bucks for a $15 game. I like it. Alright, quick trip into Cash America Pawn, and I honestly have not had a lot of luck at this particular store. Um, a lot of the other ones across town, I've usually found a ton of stuff in, but this one, I've struck out almost every time I've gone in. But not today. Uh, we found a couple of games. First of all, in the shelf with all the uh, newer generation games, they had a copy of Black Ops 2 in there. And a lot of the older games are always on the shelf and they're cheaper. So I asked him, uh, it's a 360 game, how much is this? And he said, oh, it's only two bucks. I'm like, awesome. Uh, Black Ops 2, as most of y'all know from watching the channel, uh, trades into GameStop for close to 14 bucks, between 13 and 14. Uh, so I, anytime I find this, I will pick it up. And it doesn't matter if it's complete or not, it's in a GameStop case, so they'll take it in a GameStop case and just put it back on the shelf. But yeah, picked that up for super cheap. And I said, it's an easy trade in to GameStop to get some more games. The other one I found is actually a game that I've been looking to grab for a while. So GameStop actually had it on their deal of the day the other day for $20. And I had never seen it before for under 30. So I was kind of wanting to grab it. It's not a big banger of a game anyway. Tony Stewart's All-American Racing and Tony Stewart's Sprint Car Racing. It's two games in one. Um, all dirt racing games and I figured this would look like a blast. I just didn't want to pay 30 to, you know, 20 to 30 bucks for it. And we got it for 10 bucks today at the pawn shop. So uh, I've been eyeballing this game probably for, I don't know, like three, four months now, hoping that it'll go down in price. And I said, I almost pulled the trigger this past weekend when it was on sale for 20 bucks. Glad I didn't because literally found it for 10 bucks just a few days later. So Tony, Americans, uh, Tony Stewart's All American Racing and Sprint Car Racing for 10 bucks. Not a bad deal, 12 bucks for both of them. Let's keep it going. Right, guys last stop of the week and we stepped into st vincent de paul and as you saw uh cincinnati's finest had a presence outside um it didn't seem like nothing too serious uh nobody was in cuffs or anything uh, so i don't know what went down uh they were just talking to some dude outside don't know if he was causing issues inside who knows but anyway went inside found a couple of things they actually had a dsi in there um but when i went to test it out it wouldn't read the games <laughs> 
that's kind of a sticking point, you know? I want to make sure that I can play my games. But it came with a bunch of shovelware games in the, the pouch with it. Um, it actually had a mystery game, which I punched, I punched, put it in, and it was one of the mystery dungeon games. I don't think it was a super expensive one, but uh, it, it didn't, the label was all ripped off. I couldn't tell what it was. The thing was, it could read a disc if you shoved it in all the way and held your finger down. But when you let go of your finger, it would stop reading it. So they wanted $60 for the whole package. Uh, it might have been worth it if you're into fixing things, but I'm fine. I've got DSs at home. I figured if it was cheap and it had some good games in there, I might, you know, pull the trigger, but uh, not today. They did find one game. Uh, they had a couple of GameCube games in there, um, but it was everything that I had on other systems. So uh, a couple of uh, Call of Duty, I think it was a Call of Duty, a uh, Medal of Honor, and a NCAA football game. And I had each of them on another system, so didn't feel like double buying them. Plus they were wanting like six to eight dollars for each of them, so I'm good. Oh, and they also had uh, some uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo games, but they were all like the game show games and stuff. And I don't have my Super Nintendo anymore, so it really wasn't up my alley anyway. Um, they had $7 on each of them, so it wasn't really the best of deals in the first place. We picked up one game. Sorry, I'm done rambling. Uh, it was a PlayStation 1 game, and it was the only one sitting on the rack with all of the GameCube games. Road Rash 3D on the PS1. Uh, not a super expensive game. It's like a $10 to $12 game, but uh, I only got charged two bucks for it. There was no markings on how much it was, so she said $2. And I said, I accept. Uh, road Rash games are a blast. I mean, you're basically driving down the road and you are, uh, you know, bashing all your opponents or whoever else is up against you. So uh, it's a fun game. Uh, I've played all the Road Rash games in the past. Never played Road Rash 3D, so new game for the collection. And, uh, not a bad deal for two bucks. Guys, as always, I appreciate you coming out each week. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe on the button below. And uh, throw a like on it if you like the video. Anyway, guys, until next time, keep hunting.